Howdy guys, welcome back to my channel on this Friday. Today I'm going to show you my top five uh, bridal or wedding foundations. So these are the ones that I'm using most heavily in my kit and they're the ones that look most flawless on the skin in both real life and in photography and of course that photograph well because that's what we have to think about when it comes to um, bridal work and um, just events in general but I'm you it's easier just to say bridal work so i just filmed the tutorial for this look i know it's very very natural it's supposed to be it is a bridal look for the very very natural bride and um it's also geared towards dry skin so what i use for that is the mac face and body foundation foundation. This is the 120 mil size which you get in the pro store. You can get the smaller, is it 30 or 40 mil size just in regular stores and um, this is a brilliant brilliant bridal or event friendly photography friendly foundation. So this is a film forming foundation. That means that once you have it on your skin it sets like a layer over the over the face or over the skin and um, it doesn't tend to come off. It really does stay like an, a second skin or like a second layer on your face. This has absolutely zero SPF in it so it is very very photo friendly and um, this would be used very heavily as well backstage at fashion week and in fashion shows in general so it's really really good for that, um, that kind of setting where you have to deal with heat and lights and photography and um, kind of taking off clothes and putting on clothes so it doesn't actually uh, smudge or budge you know off the face onto clothes it doesn't um it won't dirty your clothes so that's great as well if you do need to bring it down onto the neck or if you need to use it anywhere on the body where you need to even out the skin tone there as well so um i highly recommend this it is very very natural so it is very like a second skin foundation it won't give much coverage you can get a little bit of coverage out of it i've seen people on youtube saying before or people in general just saying that you can build this up to full coverage which you just can't like you cannot build this up to full coverage but that's not what i'd want it for um this is it, it can be thickened up by emulsifying it between your hands and giving it a really, really good rub and pressing it into the skin. It's a bit messy to do it that way. You don't always have time to do that on the morning of a wedding because you are, you know, tight for time. So um, I just tend to use it with a brush or, um, yeah, a brush at bridal parties. So love this though. Really, really recommend it. And I'd say it's better for dry to normal combination skin. I wouldn't tend to use it on someone with very, very oily skin just because it has a lovely natural sheen to it. It's not like very, very shiny by any means or like dewy, but it has a natural sheen to it. So um, that could just um, maybe amplify the look of oily skin as the day goes on, if that's what you have. So I would tend to just stick with the drier skin types for that. Then another foundation that I absolutely love for bridal work is this. It is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum by Bourjois. <laughs> It's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. This is a gel foundation. It's a 16 hour wearing foundation. It is less expensive, of course, because it's not uber high end, but I have absolutely no qualms about using it in my kit because it, um, it, it's brilliant. It is uh, absolutely brilliant, brilliant foundation. It is extremely comparable to the um, Chanel, oh, what was it? Was it the Pro Lumiere? It's the one that was discontinued and everyone loved. Um, and they used to be owned by the same group. So I think that's why their products are so similar. This is great for any skin type, really. It can be used on dry to oily skin, but the regular um, Healthy Mix, not the serum, is a little bit better for oily skin, even though I do tend to use the serum more in my kit. This is just, um, it's just a beautiful foundation. It smells lovely. It goes on more like medium coverage, so it has more coverage than the um, MAC, face and body. It has no SPF or very low SPF anyhow. It might have a little bit of SPF. What does it have? Yeah, I don't think this has SPF because it doesn't say it on this. I'm pretty sure it has no SPF. Um, and it just gives, again, a really lovely, healthy glow to the skin. Not overly dewy, but it does give a healthy glow. And um, I love this for, again, normal dried combination skins. Um, these are both really, really lovely on more more mature skin as well but I would use them happily on any age any age any age group whatsoever so um yeah it says it's a semi matte finish but it does give a bit of a sheen so it's more skin like really and um yeah really really affordable as well because you can get that in the pharmacy then let's see I'm gonna cheat a little bit and have these two as one if you know what I mean because um I do have two more foundations to go and these are similar, but I use them for different skin. Actually, no, they're not similar. 
They're not, but I'd use them for different skin types. So I'm gonna start off with the number seven, Stay Perfect Super Light Foundation. This has an SPF of 15, it's quite low. I find it photographs well, that doesn't bother me at all. This is a beautiful foundation. It is more coverage than the other two I showed. It is extremely fluid though, so it is lovely to work with. It doesn't feel cakey at all on the skin. You can build it up to quite a decent coverage and um, it just allows skin to look beautiful and velvet-like and I don't like anything too heavy on the skin, which you'll see from all these foundations as well. Um, I just love this foundation and I love as well that it comes in such a tiny little um, package. So this is 30 mil. The other one I'm gonna show you in a sec is 30 mil, but this one just takes up so much more space. A lot of foundations are like that. I like these ones that are just tiny. Um, that's one of the reasons I like the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum as well, because it doesn't take up too much space in the kit. And um, yeah, this says it's a non-stop complexion perfection. So it's very long lasting. It's a 24 hour wear. It, um, it says it's life proof, but basically it just lasts really, really well on the skin, which is why I love it for bridal work. And um, I only discovered this foundation last year and now I have loads of the, like I got the first color, of course, Calico, the lightest color for myself. And I loved it so much that I started using it in my kit. And um, when I use it on clients, they absolutely love it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm so confident using this on clients and in my kit. And I love how it works. I think, or how it looks rather, I think the actual packaging of the number seven, um, this particular one, the super light, stay perfect, looks lovely and sleek and um, really, really lovely one. And you often get the number seven foundations on a three for two in boots, which is brilliant when you want to build up your kit. Now this is the original Stay Perfect foundation and I actually was using this originally. So this is, in a way it is similar, like it is um, kind of medium coverage again. It's a thicker foundation though, like a thicker consistency. It's a little bit more creamy gel-like. This one as well is a little bit better for oily skin, for combination to oily skin, whereas I would tend to use this on dry, normal combination skins. So if someone wants a little bit more coverage, um, is a little bit more makeup friendly, and they like the look of makeup on their skin, this is the kind of one I'll use. This again lasts a long time. It lasts very, very long. It doesn't tend to move very much at all. Um, it w it's rub resistant and won't fade away, which is why I tend to go for these. Even though this is longer lasting and a little bit better for oil control, it's still not drying they both contain hydrating ingredients that's my favorite kind of foundation and um, the one that will hydrate as well as have a little bit of oil control in it so um love these and um yeah really really great great shade range with the number seven foundations which is one of the reasons why i'm so enamored by them now we'll pretend that that was number three and um, number four is a newer foundation to me but this will not surprise you because i have been harping on about this being my favorite foundation for the last several several months and um i just went out and bought a few more um of these for my kit i had been using the calico on a few people and of course it wouldn't suit a lot of people again it's just one of these beautiful like skin beautifying foundations this is the only one in my kit though that has oil in it and um it's the only one that i'm used to as well that contains oil but it doesn't look oily on the skin by any means it's more of a dry oil this will give quite good coverage it gives like that velvet kind of finish to the skin again this has zero spf in it so i'll always kind of be drawn towards foundations that have no spf in them again because you have no qualms then about it giving any flashback this is lovely size again for the kit, which is one of the reasons why I like it. And it's a very, very uh, hygienic to use because it's a dropper foundation. So it is, um, it's just really handy and easy to use on the morning as well. So yeah, again, I mean, it isn't known for its long lastedness, but I use this for dry skins, drier to normal skin types, and it lasts amazing. One of the reasons I kind of decided that it would be really good for the kit because I personally tend to get a really oily nose I can get shiny on, like, I can be like an oil stick sometimes on my nose and just around my nose. Um, I'm kind of normal to dry everywhere else. I don't like a very heavy foundation. And wearing that, I don't get very oily on my nose. So I think it could be maybe the oil in it helps to balance the oil production on my face, which is absolutely brilliant. And then the final most used foundation in my kit is this guy here and it is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, this is the longest, the one that I've been using the longest in my kit as well. This you can use on any skin type really, but technically I only like to use it on combination to, well, normal combination to oily skin. I don't really tend to use this on anyone with very dry skin. I just find for personal use, if you do have dry skin, it won't really do you any favors. Um, 
So this is a medium buildable coverage foundation. It is really, really good for oil control. Again, there's really, really good shade ranges um, or shades available within the range. One thing about the MAC ones is that the shades are quite yellow or quite pink. So if someone has a very, very natural skin tone, it won't always suit them. And um, these are great for fake tan, which is why you get very, very good use out of them in Ireland because women in Ireland love their fake tan. Whereas say the number seven foundations are more skin-like, so they'll suit more natural skin tans, which aren't as widely available here, um, or just natural tan, like actual sun tan. Um, this guy here though, I love it. I have been using this for years. Some people do give this bad, Kind of a bad press or bad um bad name i think mac studio fix fluid is a brilliant foundation if used correctly again it has a bit of an spf um it's low level spf 15 it doesn't give much flashback um or any really at all and um yeah this is the one definitely that i use for oil control and you can apply it um quite naturally as well people often say that this is too thick or heavy that's all down to how you apply it you can apply this really really lightly you could always mix a little bit of your primer in with it um i can i find this is a, a multi-use foundation i really really do love it and um yeah those are my most used foundations in my kit at the moment so i hope this is helpful for anyone who is either getting married or for anyone who is trying to build up their kit or wondering what would be a nice foundation to try or a new foundation to try for the kit so yeah that's it for now guys um the tutorial for this will be up next week and just have a good weekend and i'll just see you all soon so long guys